Yo, what's up, guys? Fantastic round one of the playoffs. Um, one matchup going down to the wire. Ended up being a tie. Um, crazy to think that Austin tied Victor. But tiebreaker did go to Victor because he's the higher seed, which I hate, but I can't change. Um, other matchup uh, between me and Josh, we definitely gave it our all. Um, I'll show the scores in a second. Let's get to this league manager's poll. Which matchup will you be keeping your eye on outside of your own? Obviously, you can keep your eye on your own matchup, duh. But outside of your own, <coughs> the two that interest me the most are these two. Um, I think Santana has the potential to beat Cody. But this one to me is just the most intriguing. It's it's Heath versus John. It's, it's I don't know who's going to win. Um, here you could really put your money on Cody to win, but I'm not giving up on Santana. But this is the matchup I will be keeping my eye on the closest for sure. It's just the matchup that you don't know which way it's going to go. Unfortunately for Heath, he only has a Westbrook for three games this week, if I read the thing right, which could hurt him in the long run because he doesn't have that many good stars on his team um, to carry him. He would definitely needed Westbrook a four or five this week. But let's get into the scoreboard. Happy to get this video up before the games actually start this week. Um, let's go back to the recap from last week. As you can tell, I took down Josh 9-2-1. It was a really close matchup actually coming into Sunday. Um, super close on a lot of things. Field goal percentage was insanely close. Three-pointers was not that far away. <coughs> this was only off by 15. This was this was sloppy. This was sloppy. It was much closer, though, coming into Sunday. Both those rebounds categories were. As well, I just had the better players playing. Blocks were close. Double-doubles were a tie. Points were only divided by nine. <coughs> I don't know why I said divided. Um, but it was a really good matchup um, to watch. I was fortunate. Josh had some unlucky breaks um, throughout the week. But <coughs> he definitely gave it his all. He left only $16 left in free agent money. So not too bad. Um, come down here um, to... Victor playing Austin. Ended up being in a tie, like I said. Super close. I mean, Austin beats him by one block. <coughs> um, beats him by two steals. Victor gets him by four assists, six defensive rebounds. Free throw percentage was insanely close. Three-point percentage and free throw percentage was insanely close. Field goal percentage was extremely close. Um, but the main reason um, I'm putting the blame on Austin for losing this one is that he had $210 like, left. Uh, um, I bankrupt them both this morning, but that's just pickups throughout the year that could have made your team better for this situation. And um, I think Monday, Monday or Tuesday, maybe both days, you were still only spending like a dollar, and that's just crazy to crazy to even think that you had the most money out of the four players left. Well, I mean, Victor had money too, but didn't expect him to do anything with it. <coughs> but where's it at? When was Monday the 6th? Um, just the fact that you were only dropping $1 bills. Heck, you don't even have a pickup here on the 6th. It's going down to the 7th. Yeah, the 7th would have been Monday. Duh, I can't do math. Or no, Tuesday. Okay, I was right on that Monday. So you didn't even pick up anyone, I don't think, on Monday. <coughs> Coming down to Tuesday, um, where you got rookie squad. See, you're only bidding dollars. You're all the way down to here. Um, just crazy to think that you only bid in dollars when you have the most money. I don't know if that was the case for all week. Um, you might have finally upped your bidding. Where are you at? Rookie squad, yeah, and just a dollar, dollar. Um, <coughs> I feel like you eventually upped it. I saw Victor made some pickups there. Um, rookie squad, no, just a dollar. Only went for one person that day. Here's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I don't know if you had a full roster that day. <coughs> the only reason you picked up one, here you go, you was adding someone for $3, ended up getting beat um, by your counterpart. And that's what I'm saying, $3 ain't even that much for you, considering you had $210 left. So, <coughs> it's just crazy to think. And I'll get Sunday in a minute because there was a lot of pickups on Sunday. Um, see if you just did the dollar theme. Looks like you didn't even pick up Saturday. So, that doesn't help. Um, I mean, when Sean's making moves all week long, you know, should be making moves.
Phoenix too. Here you go, you get Nick Young for eight dollars. He doesn't even play a single minute. I don't know what really made you go for Nick Young anyways. He doesn't get rebounds, he doesn't get ass doesn't get assists, so <coughs> I don't know what made you add him. I mean I know the it's pretty dead, but I mean as you can tell there's a bunch of players available. Um Josh went heavy. Um he was definitely getting as much as he could for Sunday since he was down. I respect that. Um, I mean, I still respect Austin for going. I mean, he was trying to pick up people. It's just the money. If you had the money advantage and you should have been spending to leave $210 there, it's just crazy. But let's get into week two of the playoffs. Um, go ahead and say it. Um, my matchup, my, not my matchup, my, the, the matchup I'm putting on upset alert. I even get mad, but I do this. I feel like I'm always dissing Cody, but I'm putting him on upset alert. I think, I mean, the last two weeks of the regular season, Santana and Cody were one and two. I mean, it's a fantastic matchup. Santana's team's healthy. Cody's team's been fantastic since he's been checked. Even when he was being tested, even even when it wasn't being checked. Um, I do have no clue what the player advantage is here, if any. But I'm not taking any of that into any effect. There's going to be pickups, I'm sure. But the thing that gets me is why I'm putting Cody on upset alert is it's Cody. He thinks his team's already good enough. Will he pick up anyone? That already don't look good for Santana. Um, that guy's not too shook around. Kawhi Leonard ain't even going to play, is he? Questionable. Um Wilson Chandler here, question. Whew, a lot of threes for Cody first glance. Oh, yeah, two, some threes. What's Santana looking like? Got some threes, too. No two, I don't think. Um, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough because I mean, if Cody doesn't pick up and Santana continues to have player advantage every day, I, I think it could go in favor of Santana, and that's what I'm gonna base it off of. Is I don't think Cody picks up this week. I'm thinking that he can win. Um, not saying he's not going to pick up, but that's just the knowledge I'm going off of. And I think Santana wins. I'm not giving uh, how he's going to win by. I'm just saying that he's going to win this week. And that's why Cody's on upset alert. But it won't be surprised if Cody wins this matchup. It really won't. Um, let's get into the other. The matchup I'm going to be keeping my eye on the most is this one right here, John and Heath. Um, Tobias day-to-day. -day. Bunch of fours, um, some threes. He needs Drogic to really play. He looked awful yesterday. I don't know if y'all saw him, but whew, whew, he looked terrible. I'm um, coming down here. He's got a two. It's just O'Quinn, though. Favors is out. Um, doesn't look like he's coming back this week. Yeah, Westbrook only playing three. Um, <coughs> definitely going to go in favor of John. Uh, hopefully... Griffin can get some things done. Uh, maybe player that's not even being listed right now is what's his face? Freaking Demarcus Cousins. Um, I just think John's got the better team, and I think he wins. Um, go to my matchup. Sean says he should be on opposite alert. Um, I think Sean's going to breeze through this one. I really do. Um, if we would have played last week, I think he said I would have beat him. But that was last week. He wasn't playing, so his pickups weren't really there. Regardless, I have Carmelo playing two games, Gomez playing two games. <coughs> a bunch of I have a bunch of threes. I've um, got some fours. Um, he's just fours and threes. Um, he said Frank Kaminsky's probable for tonight, so he'll be available. So <coughs> I think Sean gets the job done. I really do. So I'm hoping to keep it close. I'll give it all I got, but you know, Sean will too. And let's go down to Victor playing Brandon. Um, should should be pretty easy for Brandon out before even looking at these matchups. Um, I, really, I really do believe Brandon should win this one big. Um, but now looking at it, Brandon's got a lot of threes compared to Victor. Um, obviously, those five players on the bench, four or five, whatever. And he's not got Nicholas Batum playing tonight because he got a migraine. God bless. That's terrible. Um, but I think Brandon wins. Am I going to be surprised if Victor wins? Absolutely. Didn't see it coming. He tied Austin last week. So, yeah. I'm going in favor of Brandon. And teams like like Brandon's and Cody's, it's just interesting to see if they're going to make pickups. 
And if Victor ever comes alive over there, he's got freaking two people out on his team. So we'll see. Should be a really fun week. Really interested to see what happens. So good luck to everyone that's playing. Have a good round two of the playoffs and 